Well, good afternoon. Welcome back to the vlog. Not quite back on the bank yet. Behind me, the van's loaded. It won't be long. A couple of hours. We're setting off over the channel to France. So keep on watching. Follow me on the journey. Let's see what happens on the other side. Let's see if we can get some chunks for the camera and see, see what we can do. Happy days. See you on the other side. Catch you soon.
morning to you from Lillipool in France. Um, we're actually on Tuesday. Been here since Saturday, obviously the Saturday to Saturday routine. Um, but Saturday and Sunday, um, nightmare traveling. 15 hours from the north and our However, way you dress it up, I'll try and smooth it over. It's a slog from travelling down from the north to here. It's five hours the other side from Calais. So, yeah, Saturday we've got here. We had dinner time Saturday by the time we've got everything set up and organised, and you know how it works. And the temperatures have been in the 30s, 31s, 32s, 33s. Been absolutely boiling. So, the fishing's been a bit slow. I've been picking them up overnight and I've only had one and I've lost one, well I've lost two. I had one last night, a 29.2 and I'll put that on for you. But um, yeah we're into Tuesday, just prime the rods again, feeling ultra confident now. The temperatures have dropped dramatically, it's a bit, it's not overcast but it's not as sunny as it has been. So I think it's give 24 today, 24 today, 24 tomorrow, so it's definitely dropping down. So hopefully we can pick up some daytime bites, which is renowned for some daytime bites here. Um, Rich the Bailiff came round yesterday, give us some tips and pointers. So I've took them on board and after they give me that pointer, I had that carp off it last night and lost another one two hours later. I put it back out in the dark with the boat. Walked all the way around. Dropped the boat under the tree where he's told me to put it. Um, cast some singles around it. But I put a, four hoppers, a particle, crushed inferno boily, all on the spot. And cast some singles around it, up, up and down, all around it just to get and feeding confidently and yeah I picked that one up it was a bit airy at half past one in the morning pitch black fishing locked up got really um, probably 60 yards that way literally bent double keeping it away from the island and two sets of lily pads down to my right literally bending it keeping it down trying to get it back round anyway prevailed in the end the second one did exactly the same, but do not have the up pulled or what? I'm not sure, but it come off. So yeah, it's nine o'clock now, Tuesday morning. Just prime both the rods. Well, two rods at the minute. I've been putting some um, food out, some bait out down by the lilies. I'm just gonna keep chucking that in. I'm not gonna fish it today. Just gonna put some bait on it, get them confidently feeding around there. Then I'll put one out on there tomorrow. So yeah, it's been um, it's been a bit of a up and down at the minute, but at least we're catching. I know Mark on the other side. I think he's had five. Down to my left, he's had one carp and a massive carp, 68, I think it was. So we're catching fish, just not prolific catching, but it can all turn on a sixpence. So this is like the intro, I know it's three or four days later on but I didn't want to labour it and start blogging nothing really. Um, as we go along I will show you baits and rigs and the lake, the facilities, and what I've been eating, carp camp cooking it, so we've caught carp so we're not camping anymore and I've been doing some cooking so happy days, yeah, feeling ultra confident now. Hopefully we can get some daytime bites, get some more fish under our belts. We'll keep plugging away. So I'll keep you updated and I'll catch you soon. The only way to start a morning, the lovely crispy bacon butty. See you later.
So that there is a tree. You see the overhang? That's where I've been sending the boat directly. Well, not directly, but just to the right of it. About here. Yeah, I'm sending the boat from over my peg, which is over there. And these are the pads down here. I'll take you around in a minute and show you them. But yeah, that's where I had that car last night. Well, I had one this morning. I lost one, same spot. After I put it out in the dark with the boat again, I've been walking around through here, dropping the boat directly on that spot, then flicking boilers up and down there, just to get them confidently feeding, coming through. But this is like the cabin end of the lake. So yeah, that's that's the spot. Call them fish off. The one I dropped, I dropped one Saturday night. The swinger went to the top, bleep twice, went to the top of the rod. Rod tip bent round, I lifted into it and I felt something there, but it was gone instantly. So I don't know if it was there. And I bought it take or it hadn't hooked it properly or it hadn't taken it properly. I don't know, it was mouthing it. But that was on the other side of the island round the corner there, straight opposite where I'm fishing. So I'm going to walk you around to these pads now and show you where I've been feeding up. So as you can see there's a big, big set of pads there to the left. There's another big set of pads here to the right and the fish are definitely in there. And I've been feeding up, uh, sorry, feeding up all along in front of them. And in line with them so I'm gonna drop a rod on there tomorrow when I've got enough bait in get them feeding confidently again that's under guidance from Rich the bailiff so again this is to the left of my spot I'm fishing and there's the other end of the lake down there beautiful lake this absolutely picturesque Three acres, absolutely stunning, well manicured, well matured, absolutely beautiful place. And I've been here before, so I think it was six or seven years ago I'd been here before. But um, Danny picked this lake to come to, so no problem. Like I say, the temperatures have been soaring and it's not been easy fishing. You've just not been in feeding mode. I don't know if you can see there, there's some fizzing going on just off the edge of them pads. Don't know if I can zoom in. Yeah there's a bit of fizzing going on there. Yeah so that's the spots. I've got one out on the other end of the island to my left. Again another spot that Richard put me on. Nothing's come off that yet and the no indication and nothing but keep the bait trickling in hopefully we'll move on to it so yeah happy days keep plugging away catch you in a bit so this is base camp that's just my little brolly system that i've got all my bits under bags clothes um food food's off the floor as you can see don't want any critters getting in it so that's all up off the floor and the bivvy bit of a mess in there but it's not actually a mess but needs a bit of sorting out so that's that's the hotel for the night well for the week move it around cradles buckets bait boats so on there's a the rod, as you can see, the right hand rod is heading down towards the island where I've just shown you. The left hand rod at the minute is out off the tip of the island. Just try and get the 
angle right off the tip of the island there so I've got one on there one on the other side of the island so yeah I've only got two rods out in a minute like I say I'm gonna keep baiting that them pads down there and put the other one out on it I'll probably split these rods put the other rod on that peg there it makes life easier because you can see the pads there the two sets of pads so it makes life easier if I have one rod down here I cast straight to it and there's bubbling down there again still so yeah that's the side I'm fishing the sun's coming up it's starting to get a little bit warmer but it's not going to be as high temperatures as it has been there we've got a wet cradle from early hours this morning thank god so yeah there's down the bank where danny is there's all my other kit stuff around there like i said it's beautifully manicured here well looked after, well maintained, absolutely beautiful lake. Lake exclusive via angling lines, absolutely stunning. Although it's not been easy at present, the last three or four days, but if it is what it is, isn't it? You've got to keep going, keep doing what you're doing. And with them guidance and tips off Richard, hopefully we can pick more up. Catch you in a bit. Catch of the day. How about that then? Is it a PB? Let's weigh it. <laughs> so on the menu tonight we've got um, my take on a couple of homemade pizzas, some garlic sausage, some peppered salami with a garlic gold base and some cheese on top. I was thinking about onions but yeah, I changed my mind on the onions. But yeah, that's the ingredients for tonight's Bankside, Bivvy Side, Tucker. So, I'll show you in a bit how it turns out. Never done it before, so we'll have a good go. So that's all the bits on top. I'm going to put this in the flip griddles now. It's nice and slow with some foil. See how it turn out, eh? Looks good enough to eat. So there's number one on that side. There's number two on that side. Cook them nice and slow. Happy days. There you go. Happy days. Bit of bread pizza. Put a bit of um, black pepper on now. Top it off. There we go. Nice Cronenberg. Swill it down with. Happy days. What more do you want? Hey. Look after the inner man. Show you underneath. There you go. Look at that. Beautifully done. Some call it burnt. I call it caramelised. See you later. Well, good evening. Getting on for six o'clock. Just had them pizzas. Absolutely beautiful, though, there. Have a go at them. Proper nice. I mean, add your own toppings. Up to you. Sunny it down with a little Cronenberg. Beautiful. So, I'm going to spin you round. I've split the rods like I said it was. So, there. Just got two out now on this side. I know you're thinking, why don't you take out the middle one? Well, I couldn't get it, couldn't get the delkin off the um, screw, I think it was a bit tight. So, um, you can see there, see all this fizzing in the margins? Move down. Oh, there's my rod tip, all the fizzing there, knocking my lines. Tip. 
I don't even see it because of the light. I'm in the shade here. But yeah, so I'll split them two, getting one out to the island, one out under that tree where they had that carp last night, well this early this morning, and lost the other one. I'll take you around now, you can see the other one, down the next peg, what, 10 yards, there's the other one. That's how biting pads, as I said to you. I've been baiting it all morning. Put bait out last night on it, so they've had free food all day. So that'll be a bit of a challenge if I do get a take on it. The bailiff said if you'll, you'll, you'll get fish off it, and you might have to go in for them. But that's what we're here for, we're here for fish. You've got to do what you've got to do. If you're going for them, you've got to go in for them. Simple as that. So, yeah, that's that rod. On them pads, it's beautiful, it's nice and cool, it's not burning up like it has been. There's a base camp. The scooter shooting the toilet, grabbing things out of the fridge. Happy days. Round in one minute, back in another minute. So yeah, I don't know if you see them, but the aerators are on at the minute around the island. Let me just see if we can I think you see the fizzing. Three aer aerators on this side. One over here, excuse me, burping, that's my tea going down. One there, one there, there's one over there. Catch you out every time, you think it's feed feeding fish. And your eye is drawn to it, your head spins around, you think, bloody hell, look at that, and then you forget it's the aerators. So, yeah, it's well aerated this um, lake. You can see down there there's a there's a big aerator that comes on two hours on, two hours off, all day, all night, so the lake's well kept, well aerated. So yeah, I'm gonna chill out now. Um rods are primed. I'll redo them around ten o'clock, didn't get dark till eleven here. And there's a knock on that rod, hang on. Get a lot of liners with the bits in the margins. Yeah, getting a lot of liners. All the bits moving up and down the margin. Obviously, it's locked up, same as the right hand rod on the other one, fully locked up under that tree over there and on the, on the pads. Bit of a swirl over there. When that rod tip swings round, game on. It's it's um, hitting up. Keep the pressure on. Try and move them away from them pads or whatever they're trying to get to. Like it was early hours this morning, half past one this morning, pitch black, fighting that carp off that island. Literally, I was bent double. The rod was bent double, trying to get them away. So anyway, let's crack on. Catch you in a bit. wounded so that one I said blade earlier on I put on the pads just lost one took me straight into him and that was always going to be the danger it was always going to be the issue but at the minute let me move back sorry like a cold spring literally like a bloody cold spring so we're on the island under that tree, cold spring. Put that one back on the pads again, coiled spring. What you have to do to catch these fish. But saying that, my mate on the other banks had a 46 10 at um, 7 o'clock, I think it was. So bang on and fair play to him. Well done, Mark. Top man, first time in France. Made up for you. So he's had, I think he's had five, five carp now. I'm on one carp and on three drops. What do I have to do to catch them? Although I am fishing snags, natural snags, which is the island with under the tree, and two big banks of pads. Asking for trouble? Maybe. But 
Not seeing any way I can catch them. I've got to keep going, haven't I? Because I've, I've had one out in open water since I got here Saturday, yeah. I've had one out Saturday night. I've nothing on it. Obviously, I'm flicking, keep flicking baits over on them. It boily, as um, suggested by the bailiff. Nothing. So, just one name in it. So I'm actually south side, I'm not even in the bivvy. I'm like, like I said, I'm like a cold spring. Sat here in between the two rods, <laughs> ready to pounce. And if I get them, I get them. If I don't get them, I'm losing them. So it looks like I'm going to be sat here all night, waiting to pounce. And it's going to be one of them, and as soon as you close your eyes, one of them is going to, well, they can't scream off because they're locked up, I mean, locked up tight. But with the natural angle of the tight line, it's dragging them straight into snags. Nightmare, isn't it? Absolute nightmare. So, got to keep going. You have to keep going. There's no other way around it. you just got to keep plodding on. One of them you've got to get in the net. How many are you going to lose before you get one? Who knows? But we've got to keep going. So, what I've got to get going this bloody chin. Tell it's enchined. What's in the Chinese phone book? Anyway, um, the time is half ten, I think. I mean, it's still light, the sun's gone down. I'll turn it around anyway, let's have a look. So there's the two rods there, one out in open water and one on the island. And there's the other one. So the light's a bit bad at the minute when I'm sat under these trees. Yeah. That's what it is, like a cold spring, sat in between them. Waiting to pounce like a panther. Things you have to do, innit? Anyway, I'll keep you updated. If I get one in the net, obviously it'll be on the camera. Or I'll be on the camera later crying. See you later. Well, bear with me. grassy in here and we all know what they're like. It's already beat me up. I'm gonna try and get it up. Don't if I can but be prepared for the battle as you can see. shower this morning that's for sure. Right let's have a go. There we go. Not waiting here, yeah, I'm gonna wait in a minute. Beautiful grassy. Beat me up a bit. Yeah, I'm not gonna get it out too long. I'm gonna get it weighed now. I'll let you know in a minute. Catch you in a bit. There it is, £44.6 of mental nutcase grass carp.
to suck the living daylights out of me. Thank you very much and good morning. Catch you in a bit. So I'm just going to try and show you what this cat's done to me. Apart from talking me, beating the living daylights out of me. It's wrecked. Wrecked my line. Wrecked me lead core. It's absolutely destroyed everything. They're absolutely mental cases. Seriously, they need locking up and never been to be seen again. Right, I need to get this sorted and get get this rod back out. Oh my life. Cheers. So I don't know who or what needed the most recovery there. That <laughs> carp on me. Oh, I absolutely beat the living daylights out of me. And I've obviously cut it and edited it, not to labour it too much in the sling. Just try to get it up and get it back. Oh, I absolutely kicked me to death. Soaked me to death, it's mangled my line, my leader. Oh, what a mess. So, just got this coffee, get my head back together. That's, uh, I think that was 8 o'clock this morning. I think it's about half 8 now, quarter to 9, so that was about 8 o'clock I had that. I lost another last night. After the one that took me in the pads, I lost one off the island where I had the. What was the first one? 29-2 wasn't it yeah off the island again so I've had two carp well one grassy one carp I've dropped three so am I elated am I disappointed it's a bit of both isn't it you're losing them but you're catching the odd one so just have to keep plodding away don't we that's what we've got to do so we're gonna have to have this brew get that rod sorted back out Oh, what a mess. And, yeah, have some bricky, get everything organised again for the day. But, the sun's come up, looks like another warm day, which doesn't bode well once again. The fish are just not feeding in it, that's as simple as that. It's making it hard work. But that's this time of year that you have to expect when you book these holidays. This is the first one I've ever, ever booked in this time of year, in June. All my other holidays since 2010 to France have all been September, October. Sometimes that's hard, you've got storms, wind, rain, sometimes it's nice, so it's, you can never find a happy medium with it. When you book it, you book it and you have to take what, whatever, whatever weather it is. At the minute we've got high temps, it is what it is, so I'm going to finish this brew. And I'll catch you all, hopefully, maybe with another fish, or I'll do another entry later on. I'm going to do so, I'll show you the rigs and bait that I'm using um, on this session. So I'll catch you in a bit, I can see bubbling on the other spot down there now on them pads. So I'm going to catch you in a bit, I'll see you soon. Well, good afternoon. I'm just going to show you this and I'll explain what's happened and how we've got it. It's a team effort from the bailiff. Here we go, it's £30 on the nose. Happy days. Beautiful fish. That's fish number three. Three dropped. <laughs> so now I'll explain that fish. Um, I didn't go into depth about it because it was a quick hit, and how it was a quick hit, it was, was free lined, um, there was no lead, just leader over to bubblers um, on the advice of. Richard the bailiff, he said just flick 
bait over it with no lead on and sit on it which is exactly what I did in 20 minutes it went so it was a heavy hard fight getting it because it was in the margin um, just pulling and holding so I'd give a fish some stick you know what I mean so I didn't want to go into too much depth when I had it in the sling and the cradle so just got a quick video and a quick picture of it then I released it because it was going mental because it didn't even know really it had been um, hooked and caught so especially this time of year um, high pressure high heat the less it out with the water the better for them treated it treated the little cut where the hook hole was treated that and put it back no messing straight back so we've got, we've got the video we've got the pick more do you want um, yeah fish number three Fish three, drop three, so we're averaging right only um fifty fifty. So keep at it. Temperature's gone down a bit, it's cloud now. See? Some cloud cover so definitely the temperatures have dropped, which is a big big bonus. It's been absolutely boring. I think I mentioned it before, mid thirties. Um absolutely roasting, the fish are not feeding properly, so hopefully now I think we do some rain tomorrow. Um, to walk through that as long as we don't get loads of rain because I'll switch them off and any storms but if we get a bit of rain it might just perk them up so happy days fish number three so this is the place off the island where I've been getting the carp under the overhang but I've been sending the boat over from the far side as I previously explained but I've come around here we're having a barbecue around here which is the cabin side so as you can see, I stuck a rod in while we're having a barbecue, opportunist, who knows, you just never know dear, with a rod in the water, we've got a chance, beautiful. Well it's a chilled out afternoon today, barbecue with the boys, we've all caught some fish, PBs all round, so we we'll have a nice few beers, a barbecue, and we're we'll back on the rods a bit later. Brilliant. Hey, you mates, do we do some digging? <laughs> <laughs> well, very good evening to you. So we've had a chilled out day today, basically. Um, having a barbecue. Catch up, everybody together. Rich the bailiff came down. Had a beer. Um, yeah, we had a great food. Thanks to Mark who put it all together for us. We all chipped in and bought the stuff. But um, Mark prepared it and cooked it all. So fair play to Mark. Back on the peg now. Primed all the spots. All the rods are ready. And on the spots. So it's about, I think it's about half eight. Half eight. I tell you what, it's a much cooler day and night than we have than what we've been having. It's been absolutely mental. The soaring temperatures. So even Rich said. Um, they might feel a bit more confidently tonight now. Now the temperatures are not as bad as they were. Um, so we can only um, hope now that they do actually start proper feeding and getting, getting competitive. Um, and all, not all, but start getting the reds down properly and feeding properly. Because I think it was, what, I think it said four or five weeks ago they spawned. So I said by now they should be actively feeding to gain weight. But with the soaring temperatures, just being lethargic and, and basking and not really being in the feeding mood. So, hopefully now, I think, well, I think I said before, I think we've got a bit of rain tomorrow. Yeah, I think I said it before. Yeah, we've got a bit of rain tomorrow. So, yeah, happy days. So, I'm just going to chill out here. I'm on my own on this side now. Danny's moved over. He was up on the other side. He's moved over to the other bank on the other side of the lake. 
so I'm down here on my own so maybe a little bit more less pressure might aid me so I'll move one of my rods um, the single I've got down the right hand side I've moved it off the main pads moved it down to this margin down here because that um, was it the bang on Thursday I had this morning or around dinner time that was down this margin so I've moved that right hand rod down here purely for convenience and hope and not getting into the pads you can still go in the pads because the pads are not that far away to be honest but it gives me more of a chance to hit them an old rather than them just darting straight into the pads even though I'm locked up you know what they just where the rod bends and they're stretching the mono just, just getting in the pads and wrapping themselves around them the stems stems are like this big do you know what I mean that, well that wide and round they're just wrapping themselves around it so you're not getting them out Rich said the only way to get them out is go in with your net wade out and get them out I said that's the only way you're going to do it apart from that I just seen ripples there by them pads actually so yeah that's the only rod I've moved the other two rods same spots the two I've lost are under the island and the snags again so I'm locked up on that one again I've put, I've put on a big lead actually put on a three ounce lead because I'm not sure whether they're actually cooking themselves because it's, it's, it's smooth under there it's proper smooth so I think they're just fiddling about with it I don't think it's actually looking even though the, the hooks are sharp don't get me wrong the, the hooks are sharp I'll put a big lead on just to think when they are mouthing it it hooks them better because I've actually had them on the ones I'm losing I've actually had them on but they're not they're just coming off so I don't think that it's actually hooking them properly I think they're just fiddling because they're lethargic and that water temperature it must be 25 degrees at water temperature honestly god I'm not joking the leads are coming back well not red hot but they're coming back warm so yeah let's see in it let's hope let's just um how things i'm on three fish yeah three fish drop three so let's hope we'll get a couple in the in the net tonight a couple in the net tomorrow night which is thursday and a couple in the net friday night so if we can end on if we can end on seven or eight i'll be made up absolutely made up. under the conditions i'll be made up so happy days chilling out it's out on the bank let's have some more fish keep our fingers crossed see you later so there's fish literally fizzing everywhere out there you can see them see the fizzers now that is carp they're rolling they definitely come out of them pads now like i said before i've got my right hand rod the one the single that i moved down this margin here but they literally come out of them pads and they're moving up they're all over there I'll try to be as quiet as I can there's another fizzer here look it's definitely moved out so I'm just trying to be quiet so you can watch them And start to roll. Be happy if I've seen some fizzers down here, like they were today when I caught that one. See that one? There's one just down here. See it fizzing. It's everywhere, literally everywhere.
To be fair, some of them fizzers seem to be moving back towards my spot. But I have heard them crashing in the night down here. Last night, I'm not even joking. One of them sound like a bloody cow fell from the sky. I actually jumped in the bivvy. I literally jumped. Well, good morning. It's about quarter past twelve. This one ripped off about twelve o'clock. Just gone. I just weighed it. Just gone thirty pound. Five ounce. Another mirror. I don't mind. Don't mind what they are. Just sold this out. Get out for you. Might go a bit mad. There we go. Another one, fish number four. Buzzing. That um, snag spot on the island where I've lost two. Yeah, that island spot where I've lost two, but I got this one off it. Happy days, early one, 12 o'clock, because I've all been like two, three o'clock in the morning, so a nice early one. Happy days, I'll try and turn it round for you. There we go. Beautiful. Fish number four, made up. Lost three, so I'm gaining, I'm gaining ground on them. Right, let's get this one back. Beautiful, made up. So you can see there now, loaded the boat back up with the rigging. I've got to send this out, and I've got to walk right round to the other side, well, to the bottom of the lake, going under that tree by them snags. I'm watching where to drop it you see there most of that is in this nut 365 boil it and pellet I've got some of the house boiling there and all and just a little bit of mixed particle not a lot just a bit sorry about the lighting but it is pitch black so yeah that's the bait in the, in the boat let me get this sent out this is the hard bit now the easy bit is done I've had the fish I landed it and weighed it. Now this is the hard bit. Right, let's crack on. So there you have it, it's one, one forty. So by one o'clock, the run, fish done, weighed, pictured, boat back out on the spot, new rig, new bait, all within half an hour. Always, sorry I'm a bit knackered, been running around like a mad trying to get to that boat and back. Um, I fish better when I'm catching. You're on it aren't you? You know when you're getting fish, you're literally on it. You're nothing phases, you just crack on and get it done. So back in the baby, chilled out. Gonna have a little um, drink of water here, a bit thirsty. And then I'll be back to sleep, waiting for the next screamer. Happy days, see you later.
and it's kicked off half past one. I've got common. Let's try to deal with it. It's going to be a right shower. I'll have to take my glasses off and everything. But I don't mind. I literally don't mind. See, it's going mental. This is snag fishing. You're holding them, putting pressure on them to get them away from the snags. Oh, that's, that's a rig out anyway. Right, get this net out. Absolutely drenched. Not weighed it. Not yet anyway. Let me fix that. Right, here we go. Let's see if we get it up without it kicking off. Mental. Absolutely mental. See. Happy days. Buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. Fish number five. So you want to turn it round. So it is kicking off, so bear with me. I'm gonna have to get changed. Soaked. Absolutely soaked. <laughs> Not weighed it. I'll let you know the weight in a bit. Come on. Feels high twenties anyway. I know that. Sorted. Right, let me get it weighed. I'll let you know the outcome. Mr. Common, 28 pound, one ounce, happy days, let's get it back. What <sighs> a mad couple of hours, I don't know what I was on about that um, before, I said back on the spot before, quarter to two, I'm lost and delirious. Um, yeah, that was half past one, that Common. The other one was back on 12 o'clock, so I've had them run out on the hill and back out within 45 minutes. And I've got, I just got that one back out now. Yeah, it's gone mad, hasn't it? Two fish in the space of what? Hour and a half. Two different spots. One down the margin where I told you I'd moved it for two this afternoon. Um, away from the pads. And the one on the island. Just need the one out in open water to go now. And we'll have a trio. Again, once again, sorry about the lighting. 
absolutely mental so yeah buzzing absolutely buzzing that's five fish absolutely made up from what where we started what was it saturday sunday monday never had a fish so i've had five fish in two days well yeah literally two days and nights and like i previously mentioned what the attempts have been mental so they've not been feeding hard even the bailiff said it said they're not competing they're not feeding hard even though they should be after spawning but the temps just knocked them off but we're starting to pick them up now it's definitely got a bit cooler we're definitely picking them up so lots are back on the spots what, what else can happen tonight who knows eh we'll see if not see you in the morning Well, good morning to you. Thursday morning. So I had them two fish in the night. One at 12, wasn't it? One at half, one. Nothing, I've had nothing else. I had a few liners. I've not had much sleep, to be honest. Living on the edge, in it, with being fishing the snags. You, you just, even though you don't sleep well on the bank as it is, because you, you're tuned in and focused on what you're doing, but especially when you're in the snags, totally different game again isn't it you know what I mean so not had much sleep so a bit blurry eyed this morning so I was just having a nod in the chair before then matey behind decides to stream so that's put pay to that so I've been up had a shower had a shave freshened myself up I've just baited one of the spots down the margin where they had that common I'm going to bait the other two spots in a bit I'm going to have some brekkie in a minute Um some fuel in me give me some drive for today but it's a lovely day well it's a much better day it's overcast now there's a breeze on the water so hopefully it bodes well for some daytime fishing the other lads none of them had anything last night so it was only me that caught last night so maybe the fish have moved out from where they were and come round towards me which is a bonus, whether they're there now I don't know, I've been watching a bit of fizzing this morning down by the pads and a little bit towards where I was but there's not as much fizzing today as there was last night anyway but maybe that'll change later on but yeah, happy days so five fish down Thursday, we've got two more nights left yeah, happy days innit keep on keeping on we'll, um, keep plugging away Keep um, trying to winkle them out, eh? Catch you in a bit. So here's the facilities of Lillipool. Got this outside area, seating area. Here you've got the barbecue area where we had our lovely barbecue yesterday. A nice canopy there, washing line, wash your clothes, dry your clothes. Take you inside. There we go, you've got everything you need in here, literally everything you need. Obviously, excuse the mess, we do charge things and everything else in here. Uh, fridge, freezer there, there's another freezer down there. You've got all the cupboards, you've got everything nice, forks, pans, everything's here. The other bonus. English pot sockets and there's plenty of them two over there two over there two here two down there I'll take you into this is the toilet and shower lovely shower and all must, must confess it's a lovely shower nice and clean nice and tidy we although we clean up after ourselves and all mop the floors on our way out so yeah that's in there and to be honest I've never ever been through this door I don't know if it's open oh there you go well look at that never never been through here so you've got sleeping quarters bunk bed adequate if you want to sleep in here for one night more plugs there Happy days, never been in here. Ah, 
another plug down there too. So plenty of plugs. So yeah, this is the the facilities. Got the rules, it's got all the stuff all you need on there. The gate codes, the sat nav coordinations to the shops. Happy days. Yeah, as you can see we're charging stuff. Just got my minted lamb chops out for tea. So yeah, the facilities for Lillipool via angling lines. Perfect, everything you need. And the Bailey Richard, top bloke. If you need anything, you just say message him and he'll bring it, whatever you need. If you broke anything, you need bait, whatever, he'll sort it for you. And while he's here, if you're struggling, he will put you on the spot. If you're really struggling and you don't want to work it out yourself, he will tell you. But he won't tell you if you don't ask. So, he's here, he knows a place like the back of his hand. Happy days, dead of facilities. Right, I'm going to crack on, I'm going to wash up and wash some of my clothes. See you later. So the bait I'm using on this trip is a Nut 365. They're 15mm and 12mm boilie with pellets, different sizes. So it's going out along with a load of chrome and crushed. And that's another 365 with the it's called Inferno, it's the house boily. It does really well on here. So that's crushed up in there. Also in there is some of this. Spicy sausage. That's also crushed up in there, that spicy sausage pellet and all. There all the baits have been putting out in the boat or in the spawn. And on the air, which I'll get to the hook part, the rig, whatever, I'll show you that in a minute, which has basically been the Spicy sausage bottom bait and the Hinders uh, wafter, not 365 wafter, but long ways rather than so I'm rigging it long ways rather than standing up. So I'll show you in a minute. Anyway. I've got some rigs there, I'm going to show you and let it go out. So I'll show you the rigs. But that's basically crumb crushed. I've got all boilers that go in the boat, crisp crushed boilies yeah good mixture good grubby mix came down like this and I've, like I say all of them fish that I've had have all been on that rig and all been on the same bait and all with this going out in the boat so I'll show you the rigs now so there's a rig it's been on all the, all the rods nothing's changed kept it all the same it seems to be picking up the fish that is literally three and a half inch, four inch maybe, of ESP Tungsten coated, stripped back at the end and at the air for that joint and the supple layer. And there, as I've said, the spicy sausage bottom bait with the Hinders Nut 365 wafter going long ways rather than stood up. And that's down to bargain tackle and dips crank size 4 hook and one of their little kickers see it but that's that's the rig that's been doing all the fish and how I have lost two I've lost three fish one obviously got me in the pads I weren't getting that back out two off the island spot in the snags but I just don't think they were hooking themselves properly so since I made an adjustment I put a three ounce lead on and I ain't lost a fish since 
so I just don't think it was even though these hooks are mega sharp and I check them don't worry about that I check them before they go out I mean that was dead that was the one that done the um, common last night but um, yeah I check the hooks methodically to make sure they are sharp enough so I just don't think there was because they're dead lethargic at the minute with the high temperatures I just don't think they're actually getting in proper feeding they're just mooching round sorry flies on me flies mo uh, flies Mooch fish are mooching round just picking little bits up they're not actually actively feeding so I don't think it's actually hooking them do you know what I mean so since I put that 3 ounce lead on which I had a 2 on I've not lost the fish since so just a little tweak like that and just change the fish in so that's like I said all the stuff that's going out in the boat and on the spot is in there's nut 365 boily 15 and 12 mil and the pellets different sizes and the inferno which is a spicy hot and spicy sausage but not hot and spicy sausage that's the other one hot and spicy boily which Richard does feed here through the winter and it's a high protein HMV bait so that's what's been going on about all that crush and crumb with it you know what I mean because they're used to it and some old ones obviously that's all going all around the spot so that's the bait and that's the rigs that's been doing the fish we're up to date with everything just had my breakfast being up washing my clothes uh, wash some of my cutlery and pans and that that I need for later yeah is what it is isn't it do you know this morning it was overcast and cloudy and there's a big rain cloud came over from it seems to have gone past us which is disappointing because I wanted it to have a bit of a shower see if it spur the fish on um, just watching the fizzer out there so yeah that shower's that rain cloud's gone past us hopefully we'll get more and it is due it don't know how much so can only hope can't we just like we're hoping for the fish i ain't got any rods in at the minute like i say i've been up the cabin doing the washing and so on but let's say it's getting on for 12 o'clock now i'm gonna open a beer i'm gonna make some new rigs i've got some new rigs made up ready to go on anyway so i'm gonna make some more rigs through the night and get them rods back out on the spots and who knows we have some more fish so we've had five fish lost three half a day it's two nights left see how we get on eh see you in a bit well good afternoon to you um not been really fishing today went round for an hour in the back of the island there just with a little rod well my rod just flicked it under the bush sat there for an hour had a beer chilled out been resting these swims um, pre-baited them earlier on and just rested them I've just been and put a load of bait down this margin again as I did last night so ready for later on I'm, gonna, I'm just preparing my tea now um, minty lamb chops well, new potatoes and butter sweet corn. Nice staple fuel for tonight. Keep it going. Yeah, still watching the water. Fish have been noticing today. Fish have moved up to this left hand side. Uh, to this sorry, to this right hand side where Danny is. Where Danny was fishing actually. He moved over to the other side. Just took bare essentials. Now he's come back when the fish have, I think what he's done is pushed all the fish around. And there's more fish up this side now, this left there, right hand side. So he's got put a load of bait out there now to try and hold them and trap them. So do if there's any fish left down my side, I don't know, but you know, a little bit of flies. So yeah, I'm just watching the water, put a load of bait out on front of me on the tip of the island to my left of the island obviously the fish I've been getting been to the right of the island but that grassy I got was on the left of the island and that common was down this right hand margin so I've got fish from every area 
just not consistent fish apart from the island so you've got to keep working haven't you? you've got to keep plodding away you've got to keep priming watching signs of any movement of activity bubbling fizzers and fish fish rolling so yeah the tea's on just boiling the potatoes first and i'm going to fry me minion lamb steaks off yeah then get, get these other two rods out i've got that rod out over there just while i'm sat here in the bivvy because i'm close to it and yeah see how we get on keep you updated hopefully get another couple of fish tonight then i'll be the bailiff reckons i think i don't know if i've mentioned it already but he reckons there should be average of 30 fish a week at this time of year the way the conditions are after spawning anywhere between 25 and 35 so averaging 30 fish between us and this three of us on so i'm on five two nights left i've lost three i would have been right on track with two nights ago but it's the way it goes but i'm happy with five I'm literally happy with five as an angler you always want more fish everybody wants more fish but you get what you get and you take what you take so if i get another couple tonight or one maybe tomorrow night one or two happy days i'll be made up with it under the conditions that we've had that rain's not come it's just not turned up apparently it's coming to um, saturday on pack up so it's low in it what do you expect packing up raining on you get home gotta get everything out again that's fishing isn't it but i've had a great week it's been brilliant it's not over yet let's see how we get on here Right, we get this tea sorted and keep you updated with anything that happens. See you in a bit. There's tonight tea. Beautiful minted lamb steaks, boiled potatoes, and a sauteed them off in butter. Then some lovely sweet corn. Happy days, look at that. Let's tuck into this, get set for the night. Beautiful. Well, good evening, welcome back. It's just gone seven, I think. Going on for half seven. Um, been, the rods have been back in about an hour. Rested the swims all day. Uh, I went round to the island area and I went down to my right hand side to this margin. I've been stood there for half an hour on each spot, just watching. There's no signs of fish down there at all this afternoon so there's no point having any rods in i've been trickling baiting so i'm giving them free meal if there's any anything about down there but i don't i haven't seen anything but the spots are nicely primed the rigs are out on the spots now for the night until we get a run um lovely evening absolutely that rain never came i think i previously mentioned it never ever came uh, it's a bit of a blue sky up there actually there's a breeze there's a, there's a decent breeze on the on the water at the minute so that's always good right so while we're um waiting for a bite something new a little bit of new content for the channel just to break up the monotony and get your comments in below of what you do and what you have but this is what a load of BS. So, yes, no, it's not that type of BS. It's this type of BS. Bibby snacks. What's your favourite bibby snack? These are the little crackers, little cheddars. With the primula and all the different flavours of course in the primula which is your flavour so I like these on the little crackers I do also like them on these crackers and there's other flavours in them and all but after your tea or before your tea or in the afternoon a little snack cheesy crackers a nice stripe of cheddar primula cheese beautiful absolutely beautiful so that's my 
got a load of BS for this one this will this will be a nice little bit of content moving forward especially on longer sessions overnight sessions and that or maybe I will I don't know if you get your comments in tell me what your uh, favorite BS is no don't go on about the other BS please your baby snacks you tell me what yours are and I might incorporate them I might even try yours something I may not have even tried before so give it a like give this video a like get your comment in below for your favorite BS and I'm going to tuck in the knees I'm going to enjoy them and wait for the rods to roar into action see you later on I'll keep you updated morning Friday morning about half twelve if this went off it's about one o'clock now I've just sorted it out and rested it for a minute weighed it it's gone thirty pound four ounce look sorry thirty four pounds seven ounce it's lively because I've rested it let's see if I can get it up four pounds seven ounce fish number six on Friday morning early hours one o'clock Friday morning happy days this is off the left hand side of the island so I've had action on all rods I'll turn it round happy days it's number six. Let's get it back. Good afternoon, people. So it's Friday. It's just gone about one o'clock in the afternoon. Been sorting bits out this morning, putting things away, as you always do. The day before you're going home. So it's been a great week. We've had some great laughs. Um, had some good fun. Bit always comes to an end, and we always want more fish. But we're happy with what we've got. Just free lining the rig down here because they're bubbling like mad down by these pads. Turn it around. Maybe the same there with the, the fizzing. So just free lined the rig with the boiler on it. Um, and hope I can get another. So I had another last night, 34.7. As you've probably seen by now. So yeah, happy days, that's six fish made up. It's not been easy, even the bailer said it's not been easy with the temps and everything else that's been going on. Absolutely manic, so I'm just tidying up now. It's having an easy tea tonight. So I can get everything packed away, I've started putting most of it away. So in the morning, mind you, to be honest, there's no rush tomorrow. There's no beyond tomorrow, there's no beyond this late next week. Because I decided to swap lakes, um, and our ferry got changed to 1850, so we've actually got no rush to get back to Calais. It's what five-hour journey from here, so we've got no rush. But you know, it's like you want to get packed down, you want to get sorted. I think it's give rain, so that's not ever good, is it? I think I mentioned it before. Um, it's better. So yeah, I think um, give a bit of rain. I've a few spots before actually. Anyway, I'm going to show you the lake. So as you can see, the wind's blowing. It's overcast. It's a little bit moody. But that's what we want, and that's what we wanted all week. But you have to take what, you, what it's given. So there's still fizzers out there. So I've just been baiting up ready for later. I've not been putting my rods in till later. I've been giving them a free feed. Letting them get confident on the spots. The fish I had last night was straight out in front of me. Straight out in front of me. There. Off the tip of the island where I've been. Where I got that grassy from. That's the second fish I've had up. All the other fish. Been down at the back of the island there. And the one down the margin here on the right. So, yes, yeah, case of 
sorting things out today, chilling out and hopefully pick up a few more fish before we leave and I'll catch up with you later on in the way this afternoon or tonight and hopefully if there's any more fish so happy days, see you in a bit Well look at that, not 10 minutes after I said to you it looks a bit moody and it give rain after that last entry and it's arrived alright it's not heavy rain it's a shower and it's just what we've needed actually and it's an old scenario isn't it it's always great conditions when you're leaving when you're at home you've done a 48 hour session or whatever it's shit until you're going home and the weather changes and it's bang on for it so this stands us in good stead for tonight hopefully it might not come off who knows this, these lakes over here are different you don't know but it looks good for it anyway it looks perfect Nice breeze, bit of rain, happy days in it. There's one rolling straight in front of me, you see it? Yeah. One just rolled straight in front there. So there's definitely fish out there. Right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, see there's no rods on that, on them sticks, the rods here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this rod made up, I'm going to get that one out there, right in front of me. There's definitely fish there. See you later. Well, I'm not even joking. I swear down, right? Right, this is not a big fish. Talk about welcome for three hours. I'm not even joking, three hours. I've been free lining to fizzing. I'm talking about fizzing. I mentioned it yesterday to you. So I've been literally for three hours free lining to fizzing spots, fizzing areas. The bailiff's been studying with me, he's like he's shaking his head, he's like, how are they not taking it? And literally they're digging for naturals. Whatever we I put out there, they weren't having. They were just just weren't having it. They were on me, they were crashing on me, they were jumping out over the top of me. They weren't taking anything, literally. Four hours has gone by. Three hours, they were all over me. Four hours has gone by and I didn't see a fish. Uh, another hour went by and I didn't see a fish. Finally, this has gone off. Now, it's not a big fish, but I'll tell you what, it's an absolute stunning, stunning, stunning fish. When it behaves. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, and you can see by the way it's going, it's not a big fish. Probably going to shower me now. I'm going to treat the cut, can see the cut now where it's just been held with the hook. But look at that, long lean, common fighting machine. Not a big one, I don't even think it's 12 pound, 13 pound, but a beautiful fish and a welcome one. Talk about art in your mouth gear uh, all day. Literally the bailiff was like, what is going on? So yeah, made up. I got one in the end. But it's fish number seven. Happy days. I'm not putting that back out to them fish. I'm putting it back on me spots. I've been off me spots all day. We'll be putting it back on for the night. Let's hope we get some more before we leave in the morning. Happy days. Well, a very good evening to you. It's about eight o'clock. All the rods are prime for the night now. After that, um, heart breaking, heart wrenching, heart in mouth. Four hours this afternoon trying to snare one of them fizz, uh, fish that were fizzing. Not even joking. Must have been 30 fish in front of me. But they were digging. They were digging for naturals. They were digging for I don't know whatever they were after. But they didn't want the boilie. Because it was in front of them. They were crashing on top of it and everything as I've said before. But absolutely mental. So the flags are up. There's one flag. There's another flag the tree 
So yeah, the rods are primed, ready for tonight. Kept one down here. Just fizzing over by them pads now as we speak. But yeah, it's last night. Big fish Friday, big fish Thursday, big fish whatever night. We're here, whatever comes we'll take. So yeah, it's, I think I said it earlier, it's the best day today, overcast, we've had a bit of rain, it's absolutely perfect. So, we're sitting in anticipation, be an early night tonight because we're up early in the morning, breaking down. And I've packed most of the gear away now, as I said before, stuff is drying out. Just got minimal tackle, minimal gear just for tonight. Crack sky, it's very moody. I'm behind me, so it could be in some rain tonight. So, yeah, it's, it's looking good for it, really looking good for it. Mark on the other side has packed all his gear away, he's sleeping in the van tonight to keep all his gear dry because he lives in a flat top floor. The last thing he wants is his gear getting wet and I want to carry it all upstairs or get it out when he gets home and carry it back out. But I did help him get it down and I'll help him get it back up when we get back to Cheshire. Rather than as you can see out there, it's absolutely bucketing it down. And we could have done with this two or three days ago, maybe four days ago. It's absolutely hammering down. But um this is the conditions we wanted. We had mid 30 temperatures, we knocked the fish off. Now the rain's here on the Friday night, it's always the case. But I'll take it. Now I've got to go around and put this rod back on the other side of the island with a the boat, then walk around and drop the bait exactly where I need it under them snags. Get back, set the line, and lock it up. So, <laughs> well, I'm not looking forward to it, but this is what you've got to do. If you want to catch these fish, you've got to keep going to see it. So, wish me luck. And if I don't see you again, <laughs> good luck in everything you do. But hopefully, I'll see you in a couple of hours with another fish. Happy days! As you can see, I'm <laughs> out. After that fish, bring the boat back out. Just try to see where I am. It's black. Right, let me deal with it. Well, it's about quarter past one, I think. Got another in the net, as you can see. It's a 19, it's not a, I don't think it's a 20. You can see. Lift that. Put this light on one here. So we've got another fish. No, it's only 19. Maybe touching a 20, so I'm not going to mess about with it getting it on the mat and the camera. I don't know if you can see it at all. Let me see if I can sort this. So I've got another one. It's only a small one. Probably a scraper 20 if that. As you can see, it's not very big. So I'm messing with the um, video in it and all that. So I'm just going to release it and get it back. I've unhooked it. So I'm just going to get it straight back, get that rod back on the spot. What's this fish number nine is it? can't remember. Happy days, let's get it back. So that's a van packed on this Saturday morning. The end of another carp fishing French, uh, French trip. All the bags, these are, um, these are left here, these are the bailiffs, the fisheries. All the kit's gone. Patches where camp has been, 
yeah it's been a memorable one it's been an hard one we've had some lovely fish nevertheless not looking forward to the journey back but that's all part and parcel of these French trips and it's done nothing but pee down all night everything's soaked is what it is nothing we can do let's get home a nice bath some food get in my own bed until the next time take care good luck and stay safe